Ah, San Francisco, home to Alcatraz, Golden Gate Bridge, and the Zodiac Killer. Oh, pineapples. Hey fellas, imagine you're living in 1967 and you overhear someone talk about the Zodiac. Of course in 1967 you would think nothing of it, or at least think someone's talking about astrology, but skip to just one year later and the term Zodiac has a whole new meaning which still upholds to this day, or at least to true crime nerds like myself. The Zodiac Killer operated between 1968 to 1969, which is a relatively short period to commit crimes and still be so notorious, but there is still a good chance he's been working before the known crime span. His crimes terrorised North and San Francisco, but even though the police think he's only killed five people, he's been linked to other cold cases in Southern California, and even outside the state of California. The killer himself has even boasted to killing 37 people, so he can rest easy at night knowing that one of the most prolific serial killers is still walking amongst us. Wait a minute. He operated around 1968, and the FBI made a profile that he was about... 40-ish years old around the time and then add about 54 years so he would be around 94 years old so he wouldn't really pose much of a threat all you would really need to do is just power walk away from him not even that just walk away from him you could even just take a selfie while being chased by him just a quick side note, um, most criminal profiles made by the police or the FBI aren't always accurate. Examples are like the BTK killer, who was said to be a loner and elusive figure in society. He couldn't even hold down a job, or according to the profile at least. But it turns out Dennis Radar, who is the BTK killer, was a family man who had a steady job and was the president of his church. So criminal profiles are just educated guesses made by the police to help them get a sense of the right direction, but aren't actually reliable, like most TV shows like you to believe. So thanks a lot, Netflix and Hulu. Hashtag not sponsored. The Zodiac Killer is confirmed to have killed five people, even though he mentions he's killed 37, even going as far as to write in his letter 37 nil to Zodiac. His first crime was in December 28, 1968, around 11pm, when a 17-year-old couple were killed. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but if the Zodiac pulled up to me, this is how I would react. Come on, babe, let's get it rolling. Haha, uh -huh, get it because we're in the car. Oh, I don't know, you see it's really spooky here at night, all alone, with just one light source and no help for miles. Don't worry, babe, I'm a love-making machine, and you won't even realise that a 6 foot 11, 200 pound man with a stocky build and wearing a hood, and is heading towards us with most probably a loaded gun and a knife. Okay, let's get it on. Oh no, it's the Zodiac Killer. Oh, pineapples. I want you to step out and tie the young lady here. Oh yeah? I'll show you tied up. Ow. Ouch. Ow. Not cool. I'm joking. It probably wouldn't go anything like that. I'd probably be beaten to a pulp. But anyways, his second attack would happen on July 4th, 1969, around 12am, and murdered a 20-year-old couple. However, one of the couple would survive the attack and aid the police in providing information. After this attack is when the Zodiac sent out three letters to three different newspaper companies. One of the letters is, and I am paraphrasing here, I like killing because it's so much fun. It is more fun than hunting. And this gives me the most thrilling experience. It is even better than getting your rocks off with a girl. Wait a minute. This guy has a better social life than me. God damn it. I need to get a new bucket list. But enough about me. Let's get back on track. On September 27th, 1969, sometime between afternoon and evening, a couple saw a strange man hiding behind a tree. This was unfortunately the Zodiac Killer and attacked the couple with a knife and stabbed them both. However, the male victim was able to survive even though he sustained six stab wounds on his back. The fourth attack happened on October 11th, 1967 at around 10pm where the Zodiac Killer would shoot and kill taxi driver Paul Stein. But what follows is considered one of the biggest blunders and miscarriages by the SFPD as when the call came in to the SFPD, they misidentified identified the suspect as a black male. Now, I'm not sure how they made this mistake, but this is how I imagine the phone call went. Oh my gosh, darn heck, I think I just saw the Zodiac killer kill that taxi driver. Let me call the police. Ring, 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 ring. 
Um, hello? I just saw there's some guy who looks like the Zodiac fella kill a taxi guy with a gun. Okay, the, where are you? And what does he look like? Yeah, I'm at, uh, um, I believe, 357 Boulevard Lane. And he's a large white dude with blonde hair. Did you say a black dude? What? No, I said a white guy. Okay, black guy running away from the scene. What? Are you deaf or something? I said a heavy set white dude with brown curly hair is running from the scene. Okay, thanks for your help, citizen. This information will be helpful in apprehending the heavy set black male with black hair that shot the taxi driver. Okay, bye now. God damn it. I'm moving to a different city. Now, time to get to the suspects. One of the biggest suspects the SFPD had in their sights was a man called Arthur Lee Allen. He was brought in early for questioning by the police and they even had his home raided with a search warrant multiple times and found some interesting items, which I probably can't see on YouTube. Furthermore, they even had one of the surviving victims from one of the Zodiac's attacks uh, choose uh, someone from a lineup and they ended up choosing Arthur. However, keep in mind that studies have been done in psychology of the victim's mind when choosing someone from a lineup to not be that accurate. Even most evidence they had against Arthur was either circumstantial or proved to be wrong. However, this did not mean he wasn't still a bad man. Let's just say he liked to attend children's parties, uninvited. And subsequently, he was arrested and served two years. Allen then went on to die in 1992, but most experts believe he was not the Zodiac killer due to lots of evidence being rejected, just like my application to work at Starbucks. Another suspect is a man called Earl Van Best Jr. He is reported by his own son, Gary Stewart, who actually wrote a book. And, to be fair, if your own son is reporting you for being a murderer, and of all killers, the Zodiac killer, then he probably didn't win any of the Father of the Year awards. But it also... His face was similar to the police sketch of the Zodiac, which is actually what my drawing is based off. But furthermore, in one of the Zodiac letters, he allegedly put his name in there, and it matches the number of letters that are needed to fill in the blank. I think there's a valuable lesson we can learn from this, and that's don't let petty, unnecessary stereotypes affect your point of view, because if it were not for racism, the Zodiac killer would have been caught by now, and really shows how ignorance can be a huge downfall to our society. And you know it's bad when even the Zodiac stated in the letter that the SFPD just missed him due to being misidentified. Alright, that's all for now. See ya.